bitches all these on that option. Get the mask on my face like a catch. Don't come my phone unless you tryna cop. I pull up and sir, you well. Yo! Welcome to Captain TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and one.com and wherever else. And guys, welcome to the first iteration of Carolina Panthers vs. the World. So I'm gonna let y'all know how it's gonna break down, and I'm gonna tell y'all who, who, you know, who's versus who. So that's the situation. Um, first, I have to talk about the Panther. Whoever the Panther is, I would choose. I'm gonna talk about them. What I'm talking about. That's the first part. Second part, I talk about the opponent. Whoever it is, whoever I so choose. That'll be the second part. And then finally, I'll say who won the situation, who won the matchup. So this time it will be Steve Smith, which is the Carolina Panther. Versus the world, which would be Shannon Sharp. And who is the better trash talker? I'm gonna end this debate right now, so let's get started. So, first up is Steve Smith Sr. Ready for a sign, bite? Here we go. What happened between you and Tlaib on the field early in the game? I don't know, you gonna ask him, cause he didn't finish the game. Ice up, son, ice up. I, when I think of a Baltimore Raven, and I'm Baltimore Raven, what I think of is you go in there, we take your lunch box, we take your sandwich, we take your juice box. Yeah. We take your applesauce and we take your spork and we break it. Here we go. This is a nail hitting in a coffin. You're dead. Take your ass back to Carolina. Make sure you mow my lawn too while you're out there. Keep it clean for me. I'm 35 years old and I ran around them boys like they were schoolyard kids. What's your message to these young DBs you want to keep talking with you? <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Also known as Agent 89. He's first up. Now, Steve Smith is a great trash talker. Don't get it confused, he's a great trash talker. But Steve Smith's trash talking is different from other people's trash talking. His trash talking is angry, it's mad, it's in your face. I love Steve Smith, you know what I'm saying? I always loved the way he played the game. For a little guy, he was always ferocious. He was a, he, if y'all don't know one of my favorite players to watch basketball, period, is Russell Westbrook. Because he plays basketball like Steve Smith plays football. And Steve Smith plays football aggressively. Russ Westbrook is an aggressive basketball player. He's always mad. He's always attacking. He's always you know, full of energy. And Steve Smith the same way. He's always angry. He's great at what he does. And he just imposes his will. Anytime you talk trash, that was in your face. You know what I'm saying? Ice up, son. Ice up. You know what I'm saying? Little things like that. If you see his face, that means I just scored. Stuff like that that Steve Smith has always done that it's just it's just angry. It's like he's mad at the world. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the, he felt like the world slighted him somehow, but he's always angry at the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just he, I mean, he said things that was just angry all the time, and I loved it. And it motivated the team. It motivated me. Every time I watched Steve Smith play, man, it was like it was a spectacle. It's definitely something to watch. So Steve Smith. Is a trash talker, but is an angry trash talker. Is a guy that, you know, is no nonsense. You know what I'm saying? He'll he'll get with the best of them. He talks trash and he backs it up. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Steve Smith has gotten a plethora of, of little you know fights and situations in the NFL, jacking people up, you know, which is the Saints player. You know what I'm saying? Getting into it with Janoris Jenkins, all that stuff. He was just an angry, mad dude. You know what I'm saying? And I loved it. I loved every second of it. I think you know it builds a culture. It you know what I'm saying it was helpful for our team. And I think when we when Steve Smith left, the Carolina Panthers lost a little bit of that. They had nobody else that could take it, you know, that would push it to the limit like that. Nobody else that was angry like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that really mattered. That's why when Steve Smith left Carolina, he was angry also. And he showed it when he came back to Carolina in the Baltimore game and he told us, you know, make sure we mow his lawn and you know what I'm saying he buried our coffin basically. So Steve Smith is always going to be a great trash talker, but he's an angry trash talker. He's not just tra chopping trash to make fun of you. He's making it, to, he's doing it to hurt your feelings. He's doing it to get, you know, to get in your head and mess you up. So Steve Smith is definitely a great trash talker. On the other hand, Shannon Sharp is what you call an entertainer. We're going to take advantage of you tonight. You the weak link for the linebacker. They told me one time, say when you win, you say little, and when you lose, you say even less. They gotta pay me an extra hundred thousand dollars to help coach too now. Come on, come on, come on, D. Hey, hey! I'm calling the president. President, we need a national guard. We need as many men as you can spare, cause we are killing the Patriots. So call the dogs off. Send the national guard, please. 
that need emergency help, please help these folks. You know what I'm saying? He is the funny trash talker. You know what I'm saying? There's that famous scene where he was like, call the National Guard. We are killing the Patriots. They're, they're coming right now. They need, they need help. They need help. That's who Shannon Sharp was. And, you know, his teammates will tell you, Terrell Davis, all these guys said, listen, who y'all see Shannon Sharp on Undisputed is who he was in the locker room. And Shannon Sharp is a hilarious, funny trash talker. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you see it translating very well to Undisputed and his, um, you know what I'm saying, talk show career. But Shannon Sharp is just a fool. He's, he's, he's the one of the guys everybody connects with, everybody gets along with because how entertaining and how funny he is. You know what I'm saying? He, has, he connects everybody in the locker room. He's, he's the guy that, you know, is a leader. And if there's any issues and you need somebody to, you know, clear the water, clear the air, you get Shannon because Shannon's cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And Shannon Sharp just seems like one of the type of people that you, you would love hanging out with and just, you know, hang because you know how funny and how entertaining he is. Shannon Sharp is definitely a great trash talker. And he got people's heads too. You know what I'm saying? His mouth never stopped. He was quick witted. You know what I'm saying? He just he he he, he just messed you up. And then while you're worrying about what he said about your mama, you know what I'm saying, he's running past you, catching the route, and scoring a touchdown. So Shannon Sharp obviously is a great trash talker, an entertainer. He's one of the guys he wants, you know, he's like one of the lick at me type of guys where everybody just, you know, they gotta tune in to see what Shannon's gonna do this week. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be around Shannon, you gotta watch where Shannon at because some way, somehow, he's gonna do something to have you laughing, man. I remember the other scene, uh, you know what I'm saying, they had a locker room where he had a Broncos hat, he was he was dancing around. It was just he's just a fool, man. He's a hilarious guy. So Shannon Sharp definitely is a great trash talker on and off the field. Obviously, he's giving it to Skip Bayless now, but before, he was giving it to NFL players, man. So, like I said, Shannon Sharp is definitely a great trash talker and also is very funny and entertainer. So, you know, he has that. And finally, I got to be honest with y'all, man. Who's the better trash talker? I have to give it to Shannon Sharp. And the reason why is because I like my trash talk to be funny. I like when somebody plays the dozens. I like when people, you know, clown you and, and get in your head and it's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Having everybody around them laughing. Steve Smith's la uh, trash talk seems like he don't get you in a fight everywhere. If you go treat Steve Smith and he's trash talking somebody, just know you gotta have your boxing gloves. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you have a mouth guard because you're gonna be fighting somebody at the end of that night. That's a fact. If Steve Smith, you know what I'm saying, gets people up, riled up, gets people upset. That's what Steve Smith is. Now mind you, with Shannon Sharp, if you out with him and he's trash talking, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna feel mad, they're gonna be upset, but they're probably gonna be laughing at the jokes about them themselves because how funny he is. So definitely I'm more of a you know laughter type of trash talk guy personally. You know, I want everybody to be laughing at this person's expense. Whereas Steve Smith is, you know what I'm saying, in your face, angry, and you gonna have to knuckle up. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to fade. Just be ready, you know what I'm saying? That's how Steve Smith is. And I can't be mad at it, because I love that way he plays. And you know what I'm saying? And it definitely motivates the team. But again, you know what I'm saying? Shannon Sharp, I think, motivates the team also. He was also a team leader. And also, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the laugh. It's hilarious. So, I got to give a slight, it's very slight, because I love me some Steve Smith. I love everything about Steve Smith. This, he's, he's just, he's a, a great trash talker overall. You know what I'm saying? The nail in the coffin thing, Classic, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he, him saying I was running around these boys, you know what I'm saying, like they was two year olds and I'm 36 years old. It was just amazing, you know what I'm saying? But again, would I rather have that or call the National Guard? We are a killer. They're coming in 10 minutes. I, I'll take the, I'll take the laughs, man. I'll take the laughs. Me personally, I, I'll take the laughs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be fading all the time because I'm with Steve, but I will laugh and, and mess around with Uncle Shay all day. Y'all already know what it is. So. You know what I'm saying? It was a tough one, a tough matchup, but I got to give the slight nod to Shannon Sharp, especially because you see what he's doing on the speed of, man. He's a clown. This man bringing chef hats, goat masks. You know what I'm saying? He is a clown. Like, he, and, he, and it's quick. It, with him, it's just, it just comes out. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely got to give the slight edge to Shannon Sharp, but Steve Smith is definitely a great trash talker, too. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram, Rumble.com and Twitter and TikTok and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. Who do you think is the better trash talker? Put that in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what y'all think because it was a tough one, but I got to go with Shannon, man. You know, Shannon's a fool, so I got to give him that one. Uh, make sure you check out the uh, description, uh, the Spreadshirt account, the affiliate link, and um, my Patreon page. Both those on the, all three of those are in the description. 
Definitely check that out, man. Share this with all your Panther fans, you my Panther related, you my football related. Share this with anybody NFL related because we got more of these coming. Uh, definitely check out my dog on Steam's channel. Very funny, very talented. And he's on a wave. Jump on a wave now before you miss it. We also have the podcast together. So definitely check that out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for showing love. And I'm going to see y'all next time.